Most babies are accidents. Not me. I was engineered. Born to save my sister's life. Having a child who is sick is a full-time occupation. Sure, we still enjoy the usual day-to-day -day happinesses of family life. Big house, great kids. You want to see a routine? Oh, what routine? No. Hey, baby, what's your son? Cancer. You're a cancer? No, I'm a Leo, but, but I have cancer. cancer. But beneath the exterior, there are cracks, resentments that threaten the very foundation of our lives. Now, I really love what this movie says, kind of about, you know, the human nature of sometimes, you know, we take moments for granted. And, you know, there, there are moments and then there are people that, that we really have to take the time and really appreciate. And I was actually, I was reading the, the book on the plane on the way here, and I actually found a little passage, so don't make fun of me. Uh, I actually found a passage in the book. I was just going to read it to you and just kind of, you know, just, you know, really quick like to kind of, because I think it kind of sums up the movie, you know, really quick. It says that there are stars in the night sky that look brighter than the others, and when you look at them through a telescope, you realize that you're looking at twins. The two stars rotate around each other, sometimes taking nearly 100 years to do it. They create so much gravitational pull, there's no room around for anything else. You might not see a blue star, for example, and realize that only later it has a white dwarf as a companion. The first one shines so bright that by the time you notice the second one, it's really too late. And I really think that that kind of sums up the movie. Would you, is that yeah. something that really struck with you guys? Absolutely. I mean, the, the um, family unit is, is what we all are on this planet for. We brought in, we're brought into a family. And, and um, you know, some families are really tight and some families are broken apart. This family is actually both. You know, this family actually need, they need one another desperately and um, but they're also completely disconnected from one another uh, the 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 two characters these girls play they they need one another um, they live for one another but they're also one has to go mm -hmm. and um, we can't this family you know as much as they are connected and all everyone's needs sort of go out out of out the window just to sort of serve her needs and and those are the her her star is shining so bright and everyone else around her is trying to is serve her but in the end her her light has to leave you know I think so that, that that her light has to leave in order to let them understand each other mm -hmm. in order for them to reconnect and create that family that they were before mm -hmm. before her cancer and before they were broken up and that's kind of what she leaves them with Oh my gosh, it's really you! I'm Kimball Alexander. What can I do for you? You've seen my commercials. That's why I'm here. My sister has been in renal failure for months now. You're supposed to give her a kidney? I want to see my parents for the rights to my own body. Would you repeat that, please? What's going on? Anna, you're suing us? I don't want to do it anymore, Mom. It's my body. I want to be able to make my own decisions about what to do with it. From the moment we decided to genetically conceive, I suppose it was our fault. But it's against her will, so how does that work? We went against nature, and we forced her into helping her sister. And Taylor, maybe we could hang together sometime. Yeah. I don't mind my disease killing me, but it's killing my family too. So you girls have the, have the premiere coming up pretty soon, right? A couple weeks, yeah. So, uh, so I brought a present for you because I figured you're going to need it. So I went ahead and brought some for you. So Thank you. We appreciate that. Because Thank you're going to you. need it. Um, but, but really, as hard as, as hard as it was for audiences you know, to, to watch this movie because it's so heartbreaking and also so heartwarming, how is it to be in this movie, to be in those moments? How, how tough is that? Um, well, I think that there are you know, certain parts of scenes and certain scenes that you do sort of have to um, stay in the scene and, and focus on it. But then there, you know, there are times when you know you, you go home and you have to be you and not your your character and um, just sort of keep it uh, 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 separate. Separate, yeah. See, for me, with the extremes of this film, I mean, there were some some fantastic moments where we were laughing, and and the next scene, you know, we're we're in, in you know disheveled, but. It really was, you know, there were certain scenes where you just couldn't be a part of anything. You had to cut yourself off. I remember there was one scene where I just sat in a closet all day um, in between takes and, and cut myself off. But you have to create a balance. You have to, you know, counteract that, that brokenness uh, with something happy and energetic. And I think that when we were able to do that, we all sort of provided a very happy and joyful environment. Uh, where we where we could laugh and play and, and and enjoy it and it was that balance that kind of made it bearable. <laughs>
What is she doing out of the hospital? We're going to the beach. You take her to the beach, you're killing if you'd her. Like She's to come, gonna die. die. You better come, because if you don't, I want a divorce. But somehow, Ryan! the very things that tore us apart. Abby doesn't want to do it anymore. I don't believe you. You are hiding something, Anna. Just tell him. Would bring us together in ways we could have never imagined. Life is beautiful. I look pretty, Daddy. But it's cold. I can't die. I can't. You know it's important for you to feel like you never gave up. Sooner or later, you gotta let go. We don't need. I know I'll be okay. I let them hurt you. You know how brave you are.